The Bhagavad Gita says it's a sin to do things only for pleasure. You should eat for nourishment, but not solely for enjoyment. Writings on Miyamoto Musashi rarely discuss his relationships with women. But when they do, it sounds like he was rejecting sexual advances in favor of focusing on his swordsmanship. In Vipassana meditation, you refrain from sexual stimuli and many other things as a way to maintain your morality. Many cultures practice celibacy, others practice fasting. There seems to be an ancient wisdom from every corner of the earth. The idea of renouncing pleasurable aspects in the impermanent world in order to build your connection to the spiritual world. Succumbing to cravings and falling into aversion are linked to lower consciousness. We crave candy and fatty foods because they connect with our caveman brain. We want to be sexual devious because we evolved to want to be that. Epictetus says that someone who is free and not a slave is someone who is not subject to hindrance. That is usually referred to those who are slaves to the opinions of others. So would you be considered free if you constantly give in to your cravings and aversions? If you can't have a craving without acting on it, are you a free, sentient being? Or are you just acting like one until the next craving comes around? By practicing self-denial, we separate ourselves from our base instincts and move into higher consciousness. Instead of immediately acting on a craving, I invite you to sit with it, accept it, and transmute it. Whether it's a craving for sex, food, drink, social media, bring more consciousness to it and we'll be less like animals and closer to the Godhead.